G'day folks, welcome to another Four Motion Adventure. We are out and about doing what we love the most, and that's exploring, and today we're exploring the east coast of Australia, in particular, the Sunshine Coast and the beach at Noosa North Shore. We thought we'd share with you a couple of tips to help you get the best experience on the beach, and uh, also talk about some of the things you need to do after you've come off the beach. So let's start with before you get on. What we're doing is making sure that we've checked the tides. Now, it's a good idea to drive on the beach two hours either side of high tide, because at high tide, you're driving on that super soft stand and it can really challenge the vehicle. We're also making sure we've got a uh, compressor to pump the tires back up. We've got some traction aids, like we've got a shovel, we've got uh, our Max tracks in our case, but there's plenty of other traction boards you can have. We've got a set of four, we don't muck around. We've also got some recovery points on our vehicle uh, aftermarket recovery points on the front and we're using the tow bar at the back as a recovery point. Uh, so we're making sure we've got all those things. Of course, the other natural things you want to do is you've got to bring plenty of water, bring some food just in case, have some comms with you, a phone, a sat phone, an EPIRB, you just never know what can happen on the beach. Uh, so they're just some of the, the basic things you want to have. All right, well, let's get stuck into the principle sand driving. Um, they're pretty simple, really. Uh, it's flotation, momentum and steering. They're the basic things you need to know. So flotation is all about making sure your van can float over the sand. To achieve that, we're going to drop our tyre pressures, or air down as they say. So how far down do we go? Well, we're going to drop our tyre pressures, in our case, down to about 17 psi. Now we do that uh, when the tyres are cold, because remember you get about a 4 psi increase. So if you drop them down to 17 when they're hot, and then uh, you know you sit down at the beach all day, just remember they're going to drop down to about 14 after that. Um, so you've got to be really, really careful. Uh, and why is that a problem? Because the lower your air pressure, the more chance the rubber has of coming off the rim. So keep that in mind. So, I mean, if you, if you come on the beach and it's, it's hot and your, tire, you know, your temperature's hot, that's okay. Just bear that in mind. You might have to pump them up a bit before you get going with your compressor that you got. All right, so we've dropped our tire pressures. The next thing we're going to do is talk about momentum and to achieve the best momentum we're going to make sure we switch off our traction aids. So our traction control system, there's one button in our van, you switch that off and everything's off. Now, why do we do that? When you've got your traction control on, as the vehicle drives along and detects slippage, it's going to actually apply the brake through the ABS system to the wheel that's spinning. And we don't want that. On sand, it's just all the wheels will be spinning all the time, generally, if you're on the soft stuff. So we want the traction control off so you can keep driving. So traction control off. Now, the other one, of course, is steering. Now, it makes sense that you want to keep your, your wheels straight as much as possible. So that way, you're not actually causing additional resistance of the vehicle moving forward. If you have to turn, then just short, sharp turns to turn the vehicle, uh, whichever way you're going to go. So they're the three principles. Once you've got that down pat, it's a real good idea to do an assessment. Um, so you walk down to the, uh, the entrance and of where you're going to drive on, because that's generally speaking going to be where you're going to come on the beach and where you're going to come off the beach. So there's no point going on the beach if that's all torn up and your clearance is compromised. And bear in mind, in our vans, we don't have the best clearance. So it's all about making that assessment. Now, as you'll see in the footage, when we came down to check the entrance of this beach, there was absolute carnage. There were four-wheel drives and caravans everywhere. Um, so we knew that it was super soft, but of course, no, we've got a little bit of experience under our belt, but we followed all the principles of sand driving. We're a little bit lighter, and believe it or not, we came on and we sailed past all the four-wheel drives in trouble. Now, we did pull up, of course, as you would, and, and lend a hand, offer assistance, of course. Um, so we were really, um, well, we really appreciate helping other people, and I know we really also appreciate people helping us if we ever get stuck, but we haven't been stuck yet and needed help. Uh, but I, I don't want to jinx ourselves. But anyway, we got through that, and then we sailed through, no problem at all. Um, so, you know, it was pretty simple, and we had a lot of fun, and we're sure you can do that, and all you got to do is just follow the principles, get out there and have some fun. Now look, it's a good idea to go with somebody, if you haven't been on the beach before, go with someone that's been on the beach before, it's got a little bit of experience. Once you get that confidence level up, it opens up a whole new world of travel 
and I can tell you there are just so many beaches on the east coast of Australia, notwithstanding the west coast, which we haven't done yet, but we'll get there. Um, it's just a magical country and we love it. It opens up just so much. So look, we hope these few tips help you um, getting on, on the beach. Now, of course, when you get off the beach, you're gonna need to know how to pump up your tires. Now, you might say everybody knows how to use a compressor, but uh, that's not the case. So look, for those that know, please bear with me. Using a compressor, it's very, very important that you attach it in the right way. So what we're doing, we're attaching the positive cable first, then we're attaching the negative cable to the battery. Uh, then you're gonna switch your engine on, so we're getting a lot of power going to that compressor, and then you're gonna go about pumping up your tires. Uh, now when you're finished, you do it in the reverse, you switch off the compressor, take off your negative terminal off your battery, then the positive, and, uh, and off you go. Making sure you've got a really good gauge to test it, okay? The other thing that we recommend is giving the car a good bath. Now up here at North Shore, there is an amazing car spa. It's a, it costs you 20 bucks and it does all the underneath of the vehicle and you can get the inside done. It's just incredible, but really good idea to do that. If you're constantly going on the beach, it's not a bad idea to use a product called uh, Lanatec and you can get that from Super Cheap Auto or one of those places. And it's, uh, you can just spray the vehicle. We spray it once every six months uh, and it just helps reduce any uh, corrosion that might occur. So that's about it. Um, nothing else to report. If you guys have got any tips, drop them in the comments below. There's only one thing you really got to do is get out there, get stuck into it and have the time of your life. Catch you on the next one.